They're gonna break those light fixtures. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher. How are you? You can find me over on TikTok and Instagram at your voice teacher. You can drop my email list in the link in the description. You can also check out my brand new singing course called Reclaim Your Voice. If you're looking for more control and consistency in your voice, you wanna learn how to mix, and you want to enjoy singing again, this course is for you. Enough about that. Today, guys, we are reacting to Descendants 2. I just did a reaction to Descendants. You can check that out. I go the opposite in my camera monitor. You can check that video out right here. Boop. It was so much fun. And it was also one of my top videos ever. So thanks for watching that. And if you found me through that video, you're going to love this one because we're going to react to Descendants 2. Watching Descendants for that last video was the first time I had ever watched it. The only thing I knew about it was that Dove Cameron was in it and then it was about villains and their children. That was it. I don't even know what this next one is about. I saw pirates on the Disney Plus frame. Like I just saw pirates. So I like pirates. This should be fun. Wow. So I feel like overwhelmed. I have to say something first. I have to turn my AC on because you know what? I'm already feeling excited and I'm going to get sweaty in here. Ooh, okay, first, what? Guys, I know that the last one ended like, ooh, what's going to happen? I thought you guys were good. You're in love with the prince. Is this a dream? I don't know. Also, they did mal dirty with those new eyebrows. Something's wrong with them. Something's up. The party, guess they lost my invitation. Friendly Dove, that was so sensual. What the heck was that finger? Kind She's so evil. I love it. <laughs> this is so good. I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time. I'm very overwhelmed. This is so good. First of all, a banger and rotten to the core was also a banger so we're starting off strong love this idea that the apples are making them like naughty that's funny and the dancing is so good i do like the upgrades on the costumes like mal carlos jay evie they look great they look so good and i take back what i said about mal's eyebrows they're, they're good that was me the more that i look at them the more i like them carlos has white hair though now did he bleach it <laughs> teenage student fairy godmother there's something wrong with that don't like that nope i have questions oh god i really need to stop pausing it's been two minutes sorry aviv but look at the king and queen what is she she almost threw it back right there <laughs> okay dove jeez it was a dream i did kind of think that but oh my gosh mal your hair her dress so beautiful i want to get married in that dress at least that weird thing with a student was in a dream not here in real life hopefully everybody got a new hair except him he was the only one i said really needed a haircut it's a shame I really wish that I had that magic spell. Be able to memorize everything and read a book really fast. I love that. This spell book, ah. it belongs in the museum along with my mirror. Evie, that is so lame. Are you narc? You're gonna tell on yourselves? Let her have her spell book. Goodness gracious. Lame. <laughs> because she had never had strawberries in the slums. If you haven't seen my first reaction to Descendants, you should go watch that. I had a lot of things to say about how poorly funded the slums were. They should revolt. A lot of things to say. Let's just leave the past in the past, okay? Evie, your best friend. She's not happy. You can't tell? Open your eyes. Oh my gosh. Is that his real hair? Carlos's real hair? That looks fried. They fried that with bleach. I was wondering uh, if you liked the carrot cake. Last night. Oh, Carlos. How come nobody told me that? It's my entire life just planned out in front of me. I, know. I can't believe that no one is seeing that Mal is drowning. She's not having fun. She's not having fun. She's panicking. No one knows that. What about you? Peacock, when I look at you, all I can think of is douchebag. King. Ew. Why is she fitting him? He's an ass. We don't like him. We don't like him. We do not talk to him. That way you wouldn't need a prince. You're right, I don't. Because I have you. 
<gasps> Are you guys together? Are you gonna kiss? I love it. Wow, that's like every day now. <laughs> oh, every other day. I'm being really mean, but his haircut is so bad. Actually, I think his haircut's worse than last time. Ooh, it's really bad. I'm like gonna cry because it's so... It's fine, we're fine. I gotta get to class. Did you see that look on her face? She feels the same way. She's like, oh honey, the haircut. We need to fix that. Salute. Oh, the they're fancy. Mask down. Thought they were weird hats. Okay. She's gonna take off her mask and it's gonna be a girl, isn't it? It's Lonnie. Yeah. Good job, Lonnie. You should put me on the team. No, no, no. We'll, we'll be the laughing stock of the league. And what's gonna happen next? We'll have girls playing tourney? <laughs> Come on, guys. So? Yeah, yeah. Listen to Jay. A team will be comprised of a captain and eight men. Yeah, and it's freaking Mulan's daughter. Idiots. A sexist idiot, this Prince Charming, whatever his name is, Chad. Oh, God, of course his name is Chad. If my mother thought that way, she would have lost the war. <laughs> I want to punch his face so bad. Jane, maybe we should just skip the whole thing. Come on. I really, really wish I could. Just ask her. It's so nice to have a friend who's on the same wavelength. Oh, she said friend. She's into him, she is. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Carlos. Who put that dog in that sweater? Looks so funny. Why <laughs> is he dressed like that? Can we just bring up the question, why do the girls have twin beds and the boys get like really nice full beds? Or maybe even, the, are those queens? Why do they get bigger beds? Here to call out sexism when I see it. Oh, she's losing it. Oh, we need an exorcism. This is a truth gummy. Truth gummy. We really know what that truth gummy is, right? Ooh. You just got a man up. <laughs> Talk. A pirate! Fun, exciting, new character. Ursula's fish and chips? You'll take it how I make it, okay. Uh-oh, this set looks kind of rough. That doesn't look normal. That doesn't look like realistic. The other sets in Oridon look realistic. Even the sets in the slums are not well funded. Oh, oh, this set is so bad. There's like streamers in the background. It's not great. Oh my gosh, look at her hair. I know her, what is her name? Let's find out. China Ann McLean. I knew it, I knew, I knew her first name. Son of Hook, son of Gaston, and me, most of all, daughter of Ursula. Revolution! This is all hands on deck, calling out the lost boys and girls. Of oh my gosh. We won't stop to we rule the world, it's our time, we are next. Our sails about to be set. This is so good. What's my name? What's it? What's it? I like her. Okay. She's got some pipes. This is good. This is really good. I should be more verbose than that. It's just really good. It's so good. I love her outfit. I love her hair. Her voice is incredible. And this is a banger. This is the highlight, actually, of the whole movie so far. First 22 minutes, this is the, <laughs> this is the highlight. Also, Kenny Ortega. Damn, the dancing so far. So he is holding a hook in his hand. That's not his dad's hook, is it? Because he needs that. I like that. Her throne is really cool. The way he just walked that runway. We're going to need to watch that again. I love him. So good. They're gonna break those light fixtures. When I get my chance to rain down the evil on Oridon, I will take it. Okay, what is it about being evil that turns people into like animals? Because they keep growling and then she like scratched their heads. Is he a dog? What's going on? And remember the name Sharifi! You're cruising for a bruising, man. She doesn't go by Shrimpy anymore. She's Uma. We just sang a song about it. It means a lot that you stopped and did all this for me, especially with all the craziness you've been put through. Blonde hair spell. Well, yeah. How'd she get all that blonde hair without the damage? You've been keeping secrets and lying to me. <sighs> I thought we were done with that. This isn't oh, the Isle ben, of the Lost. You don't understand. Peanut butter and jelly is my favorite. <laughs> ben, that's not, that's not what she wants to hear. I don't belong here. <laughs> In the last video, I said Mal needed therapy. I stand by that. Noble steed, proud and fair. You shall take me anywhere. Damn. She's using spells, but they're not 
bad. They're not doing anything bad. Come on. Why aren't they all using this magic? I like her evil. It's very fun. The music in this movie is really good. It's very motivating. Like, it makes me want to go work out. Does that make sense? Like, I just want to run to it. You asked Lumiere to call me regarding Katerian. I don't know why. Why did they make a 16-year-old the king anyway? Can we talk about that? Look at him. He's in his freaking office with, like, these leather chairs. What is his dad doing? Just, like, chilling? Oh, my God. He has a tiny Bluetooth. She broke your engagement. I'm sorry. He is as boring as a peanut butter sandwich. Mal can do so much better. And there's no way you're going looking like that. Yeah. Fix your hair. Ooh, a fade to black. Out. That was good transition. Is that Lady Tremaine's curl up and die? <laughs> okay, that's funny. I know everybody's evil, but do they have to be like messy? Oh my gosh, who is this adorable little girl? No! The washed out blonde with purple tips. The best of no worlds. You can't see where your face <laughs> ends and your hair begins. <laughs> it, it is very platinum. I agree. I love a makeover montage. This is great. Ooh, I like it. It's like a lighter purple with some bangs. I like it. There is some chemistry between them. Isn't there? Am I the only one seeing it? It is a kid's movie, but it feels a little, little sparks, little spicy sparks, right? That's all I'll say. Shotgun! Did he just... Just such talk? a dumb plot device. I don't like it. It's a better outfit for the dog, though. Better than the sweater. Are they not gonna notice you pulling up in a limo across the yellow brick road? It's a limo. You could have brought anything less conspicuous. If you guys had cell phones, you could just call Mal and talk her down. Last thing we need is our parents figuring out we're here. They all need therapy, family therapy specifically. Let me tell you something you can really trust. Everybody's got a wicked side. Okay, I was literally about to say, I think Evie's my favorite character in this movie so far. She's my favorite. Maybe Uma a close second. We haven't learned more about Uma yet, so I'm not sure. And then she starts singing. I love Evie and her new hair is so great. You wanna be cool? Oh, I really like this one. Why do I feel like Evie and the prince are like making eyes? I guess he's the king now. Why are they making eyes? Am I just making that up? I do love romance, so I try to like make it happen in every movie that I ever watch. So maybe that's just it. But I do think they'd be happier together, actually. I don't think he's right for Mal. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Ew, Ben, stop trying to dance. This is a banger. Really wanna be bad a lot, and I'm giving it my best shot. Ew. <laughs> Why do I hate Ben now? I don't know. I think I was team Ben a couple weeks ago when I filmed Descendants. I'm not anymore. I don't know what it is. He opens his mouth and I'm like, mm? but anyway, back to the point at hand. The songs in this episode so far have all been jams, but this one is amazing. It feels like they keep getting better and better. So maybe I'll change my mind by the end of it, but this is my favorite. I cannot see how anything could top this. It's so good. I think I got this. Let's go. I'm ready to rock this. And I ain't gonna thank you for your help. I'm cringing so hard just for him. Yeah. Evie is amazing. Yeah. Oh, the choreography. You can bend. Why did they stay in that interaction long enough for him to figure it out? Because the minute he said, hey, I know you, they should have been like, no, I don't know you, and then run away. They were just waiting <laughs> until he was like, you're King Ben. Dumb. Please come home. She is wearing so many belts. The people love you. I love you. Mm, do you? See, if they didn't keep trying to change each other, well, he didn't keep trying to change her and like, the whole kingdom. This could be a beautiful relationship. It's like, you know, somebody from the slums and somebody from the kingdom. It's like, you know, a princess and a prince from two different kingdoms marry so that it brings them together. The difference is, is that in this kingdom, it's the same kingdom. They're just poor people that don't have the services that they need. But anyway, besides the point, they could have a beautiful relationship. She could influence him to change the slums and give more funding and teach the villains how to be good. They could, but they don't because the kingdom kind of sucks and they're just so like materialistic and awful. I'm not invested in this relationship, so I'm a little bored. She's a good artist, though. She should pursue art. Let's give her a couple hours to cool off. Oh, Carlos's bleach fried hair is so bad. Please tell me that's a wig and not his actual hair. Where's Ben? Ugh, Ben, you're so dumb. Why are you wandering? We nicked him. Mm -hmm. He went yeah, and got himself I'm kidnapped. Cute. He's 
scary crazy, but I also kind of love it. I'm back. Yeah, if you're evil, you sit on a chair backwards. You know I've dreamed of this. You wanting something from me and me watching you squirm like a worm on a hook. I'm so flattered that you dream of me. I haven't given you a thought since I left. Ooh, I loved that. They're arm wrestling. <laughs> Oops. A phony wand. Yes. In my sleep. And the second Uma test her, she'll know it's fake. Okay, so then we just get Ben out really fast. I'm a little bit bored. Just a little bit, guys. Just a little bit. Why are you guys making fairy godmother's wand? Uh, uh, why are we making fairy godmother's wand? Oh my god, can you talk about your plan any louder with the door open and people walking by? You want Chad to know? Ben's been captured. If something were to happen, who do you think would be in line to be king? Is it Ew. me or is that in really poor taste? Yeah, it's really tacky. Also, Chad's just the worst, so we saw this coming. At least one of us had her dream come true, right? Disturbing. Everybody's just stuck on this island. But she could be so much more. Exactly, Evie. Revolution! Evie, you are an Oradon girl. She just called her a bougie bitch. Yes, another song! We're going through I thought that she was fine I had chills. You can find me in the space between when two worlds come to me. I really love this. They're doing a montage again. In the first Descendants, when Mal sang F Only, they did a montage and that drove me crazy. At least this is a montage from the last movie. So like I haven't just watched this, but this is annoying. Why? Why do you have to do this flashback? It ruins this song. This song is so good. Okay, whoa. I'm unwell. That was actually so incredible. Sing that again, girls. I loved that. Oh my gosh. You said that I could hook him. I hook him? What does that mean? This island is a prison thanks to your father. Yes. Yep. So this isn't your mom's plan? Isn't that her necklace? My mom doesn't care about me either. Oh. Well. Not unless you need someone for the night shift. That's terrible. When you brought Mal, Evie, Carlos, and Jada Oradon, that's as mad as I've ever been in my life. Rightfully so. I never thought of it like that before. That I could have hurt the people I didn't pick. Yeah, Ben, because you're dumb. Come to Oradon and be part of the solution. I don't need you. Uma, he's like part of the leadership, though. You need him a little bit. Oh my gosh, is she gonna steal your voice? I told you to stay! I flunked obedience class. This talking dog, I am done with the talking dog. That dog's gonna end up like saving them, right? Why has he been talking this whole time? Like there's gotta be a reason. And I hate that. I hate the talking dog, okay? I hate it. Welcome! Finally! A song! <laughs> Let's get this party started. I swear I'm cold hearted. There's no negotiation. I'm not here for debating. You need some motivation? Just look at Ben's face and ask yourself how long you think I'll remain patient. She is so cool. Let's go, bring it on. Better give us what we want. It's the one for the crown. If you don't, it's going down. Your time is running out. You should really watch your mouth. Let's go, pound for pound. not well guys the songs in this movie are so good they're so good every single one of them i'm obsessed with also the way that she said we'll find out tonight i have chills and i get chills really easily okay some of you might be commenting you always say you have chills yeah i do i don't lie about it i really do but this song is so good i really do have chills does mal have a fanny pack on the back of her outfit let's find out yeah it just looks like she has a little fanny pack on the back of her outfit and so many belts one two 
three, four, five. I see at least five, although some have multiple chains. If we're counting all the chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, nine, ten. Maybe even more. That's a lot of belts. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Maybe they need lots of pockets on their stuff so that they like they don't get pickpocketed. That's sad. If you don't give me back the king, I'll have no hesitation. I'll serve you right here. And I don't need a reservation. That way your whole pirate crew can have a demonstration. This is badass. <laughs> Matter of fact, pick one wrong move and I'll debilitate him. And if he even starts to slip, I'll eliminate him. All it takes is one wrong look. Is that his real accent? Your time is running out. You should really watch your mouth. Let's go pound for pound. We're prepared to stand up. The pirates are winning this dance battle. 100%. They're winning. One night at oh, 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 oh. Make the train. This is so good. Why don't you give it a test drive? Although it seems absurd, turn your bark into a word. The dog's coming to save the day. Does this vest make me look fat? <laughs> Don't wait to watch. Okay, there was definitely time between grabbing Ben that they could have booked it. But now they're here just throwing smoke bombs at them. Isn't the point of the smoke bombs to create a diversion so they can run away? These teenagers are idiots. <laughs> So sorry, but that pirate running away, that was really funny. This pirate. Sorry to that extra, but that's really funny. They all know how to sword fight, I guess. Guys, I gotta admit, I, I've got 40 more minutes to go, right? I know, we've got more of this movie to go. I'm way more bored in this movie than I was in the first one, but the songs are way better. I have really mixed emotions about this, this movie because the songs are way better. They're so good. And there's more, more of them, which I like, but I am really bored. Like it's a fight scene, I shouldn't be bored. Maybe I'm just mad at them for being dumb. Let's dance. Edie's the best. I like the way that Evie fights. I like that it feels like her, you know? So it's like her style is very feminine and cute. I like that. What's my name? What's my name? Okay, Uma, that riff was so good. That was the highlight of the fight scene was that riff. Oh my God, why are they taking their time? Yeah, get in the limo. Is that her spell book? Awkward. Look, this is the stained glass window for Mal. Isn't it beautiful? She's gonna love it. She's five feet away from- You wanna cancel? Her. Yeah, Mal. Cancel. If you need to cancel, cancel. We're your family too. We've been yeah. through a lot. Listen to Carlos. Circle up, everybody. Speak your truth, Mal. I'm a mess. I'm such a mess. Everybody wants me to be this lady of the court, and I have no idea how to keep up the act. We're always going to be the kids from the aisle. Those are our roots. That's your trauma. And we all did what we had to do mm -hmm. to survive. Because of trauma. And we're never gonna be like anybody else here. No, you shouldn't. They're awful. Everybody's awful here. Mal, well, if Ben doesn't love the real you, then he's not the one. Yes! Thanks, Carlos. I'm gonna make some changes to your dress. And if you're up for it, only if you're up for it, it'll be waiting for you, okay? Evie's such a good friend. I want Evie to be my best friend. Sorry, Vive's my best friend. Sorry, Vive. <laughs> Evie would be a good best friend, but not as good as you, Vive. Give it up for your new team captain. Whoa, what? Woo! <laughs> Lonnie's the new team captain. Thank you. Hell yeah. It's way more qualified than everyone else. Would you go to cotillion with me? Yeah, yeah, sure. We're all taking a stretch carriage over at six. No, no, no. The pen toppers and the port chain. Chain. Open your eyes. Come on, Carlos. Would you be my date? for Cotillion. And <laughs> if you don't absolutely hate me by the end of it, um, would you consider maybe being more than friends? Oh, maybe? okay. Like boyfriend and girlfriend, we can hold hands instead of slugging each other all the time and we can text and I can tell you how great you are because Carlos, you're really, really great and I'm, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. You're so nice and cute. Me too, I am the luckiest girl. I mean, guy, he's <laughs> guy.
I am weeping. <laughs> that was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my God. Yep. Yep. That was adorable. Loved it. God. Just love, just love Carlos and Jane. <laughs> Mm. They should really have given those four guys in the front some choreography to do. You look beautiful! Thank you so much. Did you Evie! She's gorgeous. Oh, look at Jane. I like that color on Jane a lot, but that dress, it feels really like frumpy. Like really weird. Like they just took a blue dress, glued on some of that frill and that pink bow. She is gorgeous. Jane is the embodiment of a porcelain doll. Like she's so beautiful. The future Lady Mal. The future Lady Mal. Why <laughs> do you say it like that? Oh my God. Right. That's a bad dress. Oh my God. Evie is stealing the show. Look at her. I sort of feel like I'm going to throw up. Yeah. Everyone's just silently like looking at her and listening to their conversation. Ugh, Ben, get rid of the bangs. He's wearing his, his like aisle pants, I think. Is that why everyone's whispering? I wish I had time to explain. Look at her dress. Oh my Lord. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Evie looks beautiful. I want to wear that dress. It's so mermaidy. I love it. <gasps> Wait, what? What? Something happened to me when I was on the aisle with Uma. The connection. No, no. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Nope. Is it a spell? Did she do something to him with her little Ursula magic necklace? It was love. <laughs> it was. What? Ben. I'm wearing a freaking tiara over here. Did you go back for her? I dove through the barrier before it closed, and I'm an excellent swimmer. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's funny. This is so embarrassing. In front of everyone, Ben? You better be under a magic spell. You knew that we weren't meant to be together. That's why you never told me that you loved me. Thank you. They're playing kiss the girl. Ugh. I'm gonna throw up. There's gotta be something else going on, right? Lumiere, unveil the gift. They need to see it. Oh, it's supposed to be Lumiere. That's just awkward, Jane. Why'd you have them do that? Ben's known who I was all along. <laughs> no. He loves the real you. No. Probably doesn't. A true love. Told you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He's in love with someone else now for some reason. Uma will be joining the court tonight as my lady. Son. Not now, Dad! Yeah. Okay. Uh, so as my gift uh, to her, I'm bringing down the barrier once and for all. Yeah, he's under spell. What is up with Mal's dress. It is so ugly. And it's got this cape at the back, which could be really cute, but what color is it? What color is that? Is that like gray? But it changes kind of? It's weird. Oh, Mal, Evie did you so dirty. I never told you that I loved you because I thought that I wasn't good enough. I know what love feels like now. Kiss, true love's kiss. That'll break the spell, right? Oh, finally. I waited two movies for that. <laughs> Somebody should arrest Uma, you know? Uma, I know you. Do not let your pride get in the way of something that you really want. Uma! She said she was a really good swimmer. Oh. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. This is very serious, but it's just really funny. She turned into an octopus when she was a human, which really begs the question, who is her dad if Ursula is an octopus? But you know what, moving on. And she just turned like really big. When did she get these powers? Oh my God, she's gonna turn into a dragon. Badass. Let's finish this one. Come on, a dragon is way more powerful. Mal, you can do it. It's got to stop. This isn't the answer. What do you think is the answer, Ben? What do you think is the answer? Because Uma's in the water as a large sea monster. And the only person that could match the size of a large sea monster is Mal. So what the heck do you think that you're doing? Because the person who is helping is Mal. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, Ben.
Go ahead. Do whatever you want. It's fine. We have to listen and respect each other. Idiot. Ooh, Mal is a scary dragon. My God. Come on, Uma is way cooler than that. To just back down like that? Let's applaud stupidity and mediocrity. That's good. It's a good leader of this country. This is the first time she turned into a dragon. Very impressive. Her dress is different somehow. Evie looks perfectly fine after getting soaking wet. How about that son of mine? Ours. Ours. Yes. Ew. But his girlfriend. I think we're in very good hands here. No, you're not. You crowned a 16 year old idiot. And there's a lot of kids who would really love it here in Oradon. Can I maybe get you a list? All the kids, everybody. We found your spell book below deck. Uma had it. Keep it, that thing comes in handy a lot. I'm not gonna be needing it anymore. Musical number, finally. We gotta be bold, we gotta be brave. I like that the choreography is incorporating the water. That's really cool. Just all their socks are probably soaking wet. This is a good one. I like this one. Okay, you can't do that to me. I have a big pet peeve actually about when you say may instead of me. And I think it's okay in certain circumstances when it's you're trying to rhyme me with an A vowel. But right there they say, just wait and see. It starts with you and may. You can't do that. No, that's wrong. See? see? It starts with you and may. May. That's very distracting to me. We'd love you to join us to Oradon Prep. Will you come? Sign King Ben. Ah! Yay, Dizzy! Run away from your abusive grandmother. You didn't think this was the end of the story. Did you? Okay, I'm rolling my eyes because that's exactly how they ended the last one, so. Final thoughts, guys. I'm a little disappointed, actually, because I just watched the first Descendants. I really liked it. This one, I was a lot more bored, like a lot. Actually, I was bored through most of it, to be honest. The songs in this one, I was never bored. There were more of them. They were all jams. I mean, the last one was probably ranked like my least favorite, and yet I was still like bopping along. So all the songs, 10 out of 10. The movie as a whole, not as much of a fan but I still really enjoyed it I think that my favorite character is probably Evie like I liked Evie in the first one but Evie in this one such a cool character I really really liked her I liked Carlos and Jane getting together that was an adorable storyline I hated the talking dog don't even get me started on the talking dog that thing was nasty and most of the costumes were good most if you would like to see me watch Descendants 3 let me know in the comments below and until next time I'm Hannah I'm your voice teacher and now you're all my students please like and subscribe ring the bell for notifications follow me on Instagram and TikTok join my email list with a link in the description and check out my brand new singing course, Reclaim Your Voice. Okay, bye.